In this video, I'll be walking you step by step through the entire process to customize the popular Dawn theme on Shopify. We'll start by adding the Dawn theme to your Shopify theme library, then go over how to fully customize it from scratch to build an attention grabbing online store. This will include how to design the perfect header and footer and personalize your store's homepage by adding a banner, featured products, collections, a slideshow, a video, and much more. So let's log into Shopify and go over how to customize the Dawn theme to build your online store. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you head over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. So to customize the Dawn theme, the first thing we'll need to do is add it to our theme library. To view the Shopify themes, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the online store tab. This will take you to your themes menu where you can view your current theme, your theme library, and access the Shopify theme store. At the top here, you can see the theme that you're currently using, but for this example, we're going to be switching to the Dawn theme. To add a new theme, let's scroll down to the bottom here and check out the popular themes from the Shopify theme store. As the most popular theme on Shopify, the Dawn theme should be the first theme shown in this section. But if it's not, you can always access it from the Shopify theme store by clicking the button here. So let's select the Dawn theme here and see if we can get more details. As you already know, the Dawn theme is one of the most popular themes on Shopify and is free to use. It's a minimalist theme that focuses on showing off your product images. It's also a very flexible theme with tons of customization options. With its versatility and tons of features and options, I think the Dawn theme is probably the best free theme on Shopify. So to add Dawn to your Shopify theme library, go ahead and click the Try Theme button here. Or from your Shopify dashboard, go ahead and click the Add button here. The Dawn theme will then be installed, and once it's finished, it'll be available in your theme library. You can actually have several themes in your theme library and switch between them whenever you like. But before switching over to the Dawn theme, the first thing we need to do is customize it. A great thing about Shopify is that we can fully customize any new theme that we add before publishing. So to customize my new Dawn theme, let's go to it in my theme library and click the Customize button on the far right. This will take you to the Shopify theme editor. Here's where you can fully customize your Shopify theme. On the left here, you can access tabs where you can edit the various theme sections. And on the right, you can see a preview of your theme and view the various changes as you make them. Some sections will be enabled by default, and if you already have products added to your store, you'll be able to view them as well. So now, let's turn this default Dawn theme into a fully customized theme to use for my Shopify store. We'll be customizing the homepage, and we're going to start with the header. So let's go over how to add and customize an announcement bar for your Shopify store. Adding an announcement bar to your online store is a great way to highlight important information, like any promotions you may be offering, store updates, shipping delays, or anything else you may want to notify your customers about. By default, the announcement bar should already be in the header section on the Dawn theme, but if it's not, or if you're customizing a different theme, you can add the announcement bar by clicking the Add Section tab here. But since the announcement bar is already available here by default, let's click the arrow icon here to open up the drop down menu and view the various tabs. When you open up the announcement bar drop down menu, you can view the various announcements that you currently have enabled. By default, I have an announcement here that says welcome to our store. If I click the announcement tab, it'll take me to a menu where I can edit the announcement text and add a link if I like as well. For my text, let's change it to welcome to quantum design shop. And keep in mind that each time you make an update, you should be able to view it in the preview on the right hand side as well. If you wanted to add a link to your announcement, you can click the link tab and select from your collections, your products, and other pages here that you can send your customers to. But for my welcome announcement, I'm not going to add a link, so let's just leave this blank. Now that I've added my first announcement, let's click the back button here to go back to the main menu. On your theme, you can only have one announcement bar, but you can actually have up to 12 different announcements. If you want it to display multiple announcements, you can add another one by clicking the Add Announcement tab here. Another announcement tab should then appear in your announcement bar section. And just like before, we can select the new announcement and open up the menu to change the text. For this example, let's make an announcement to have customers visit my apparel collection. 
And since I want customers to go to a specific place, let's add a link as well. When you click the link field here, it'll open up a drop down menu where you can select where you want to send your customers to. You can add a link to send customers to view your collections, specific products, pages, blogs, or anywhere else in your store. Since my announcement is inviting shoppers to view my apparel collection, let's click the collections tab here. This will open up another drop down menu where I can view all the collections that I currently have in my store. From here, let's select my clothing and apparel collection. Now that I've added a link, whenever a customer clicks my announcement, they'll be taken directly to my clothing and apparel collection. So let's click the back button and go back to the theme main menu. So I now have two announcements for my online store. From the theme preview on the right, I can check out my announcements up top and make sure everything looks correct. I have my welcome message and an announcement to send shoppers to my clothing and apparel collection. So we've gone over how to add new announcements to your online store, but now let's go over how to customize the announcement bar itself. From the menu on the left, if I click the announcement bar main header, it'll open up a menu where I can adjust the announcement bar style and settings. At the top here, you can change the color scheme of your announcement bar. You can click the change button here to view pre-made color schemes that you can select from. But in order to get everything exactly right, I recommend clicking the edit tab here. From here, you'll be able to edit your color scheme and select the correct colors for your background, your text, your button, and other available elements. When changing colors, fonts, or anything else on your theme, make sure you keep branding in mind. You want to make sure everything complements each other and matches your brand style. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the X here to close the color scheme menu. So let's see what other customization options we have here. If you have several announcements in your online store, you can use the option here to have them auto rotate. They even have a slider bar where you can select the number of seconds you want your announcement to be displayed before auto rotating. If you like, you can also select your country or region and your language. And if you open up the theme settings drop down menu, you'll see various fields where you can add your social media brand pages. Feel free to go ahead and add links to any brand pages that you currently have. Once you've added your brand pages, you can actually select to display them in your announcement bar. If we go back to the menu here and scroll up to the social media icons section, you'll see a checkbox that you can select to display your social media icons. Since I added my YouTube channel to the theme settings, I can now see the YouTube icon at the top left of my announcement. Feel free to adjust other settings here if you like, but for my announcement, I'm just going to roll with this. And my online store now has a professional announcement bar that customers can view. So we've gone over how to add new announcements and customize your announcement bar. So now let's move on to the next section, which is your store header. Your header will include important elements like your logo and a menu so customers can navigate your store. It will also be displayed in all pages in your online store. So you want to make sure you get everything exactly the way you want it. By default, the header tab should already be available on the menu on the left. But if it's not, you can click the add section tab here to find and enable it. But typically, your header will be available by default and you can see a preview of your header on the right hand side. So to customize my header, Let's start by clicking the main header tab here. This will open up a new menu with tons of options to edit your header. At the top here, you can use the drop down menu to select the position of your logo. You have four positions to select from, and when you select a new position, you'll see your header update on the preview on the right. If you haven't added a logo yet, then it will simply display your store name. But I want to use a logo instead of this text, so let's go over how to replace the text with my actual logo. To add your logo, You'll have to go to your theme settings. So let's look up underneath the drop down menu here and click the theme settings tab. This should take you to the logo section in your theme settings menu. And a quick note, if you ever needed to get back to your theme settings, you could use the icon here on the left hand side. So to add my logo to my header, let's go to the logo section up top here and click the select image button. This will open up a window where you can view all the images that you've previously uploaded to Shopify and where you can add new images as well. To upload my logo, let's click the Add Images button here. I can then find and open up the image that I want to use. Your logo should then start uploading, and once it's finished, make sure you have it selected, then click the Done button at the bottom right. Your logo has now been added to your theme, and should now be shown in your header instead of the text. But in my opinion, this looks a bit small, so let's see if we can adjust the size of my logo. From the menu on the left, you should see a slider bar where you can adjust your logo size. When you adjust the slider, you should see your logo update on the preview on the right. 
Take your time and make sure you select the best pixel size for your logo. Once you add your logo and adjust your logo size, you can then scroll down and add a favicon image as well. This is the small image that will appear beside your store name in browser tabs. So while we're here, let's click the select image button and upload a favicon to our online store as well. When adding your favicon, you want to use a square image and it'll automatically be scaled down to 32 by 32 pixels. So from the menu here, let's go up to the add images button. I can then find and open up the image I want to use for my favicon. Once it finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected, then click the done button at the bottom right. And you should see a preview of your favicon in the menu on the left. So from the theme settings menu, we've added a logo and our favicon, but there's also tons of other customization options here as well. Feel free to adjust any of these settings that you like. But for now, let's go back to the menu up top and click the icon up top here to go back to the theme editor to finish editing our header. So now that my logo has been added to my header, let's go back to the header tab here and see what else we can do. Checking out my header here, I think my logo will actually look better if I move the position to the top center. There we go. So now that I've selected my logo position, let's move down to the menu section. Here's where you can select the menu that you want to display in your header. If you've already created menus for your store, then one of them will already be selected by default. But if you wanted to change your selected menu or create a new menu, you can click the change button here. And from the drop down menu, let's click the change menu option. From here, you can view all of the menus that you've previously created for your Shopify store and create a new menu if you like as well. Once you've selected the menu that you want to use, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click the select button. And my header menu has been updated. In the next section here, we can also select our menu type. We have the options to have a drop down menu, a mega menu, or a drawer menu. For my header, I'm going to go with the drawer menu, which will add the menu to the icon here on the left. When a shopper clicks the icon, a window will appear showing my menu. This is a great way to keep my header clean and compact. Next, we have a drop down menu here where we can adjust our sticky header. A sticky header means that the header will stay on the screen as the customer scrolls. From the drop down menu, we can turn the sticky header off, have it on only on the scroll up, have it always on, or always on but reduce the logo size. For my store, I'm going to select the last option here, which is to always show my header but reduce the logo size as the customer scrolls. I think that looks pretty good. From the header menu, you can also adjust your header color scheme, your menu color, the spacing, and other options. Feel free to adjust these as well. But if you're updating your colors, make sure the colors you select complement each other and match your brand. So here's my header for my quantum design shop. I have my logo in the center, my menu on the left, and if the customer scrolls, the header will be sticky and my logo will reduce in size. Now that I'm finished with my header, let's click the back button here and go back to the theme editor main menu. So I finished adding my store header. So now let's go over how to add and customize the next theme element, which is the <laughs> image banner. Your image banner is one of the most important elements of your theme because it's one of the first things customers will see when they view your shop. You want to make sure to use eye-catching images of your products that will grab attention. So from the menu on the left, let's take a look at the template section and go to the image banner tab. It should already be enabled on your theme by default, but if it's not, you can click the add section tab at the bottom here to find and add it. From your theme preview on the right, you'll be able to view your banner as you make any updates in the theme editor. So let's go back to the menu on the left and click the image banner main tab. This will open up a menu with all sorts of options to edit and customize your image banner. At the top here, you can add the images for your banner. You have the options to use one or two images. And if you use two images, they'll be displayed side by side. And for your image size, I recommend uploading images at least 1600 by 1050 pixels. This is a good size to make sure your images are displayed in high quality on all devices. So to add my first image, let's go up to the first box here and click the select image button. This will open up a window where you can view images that you've previously uploaded to Shopify and where you can upload new images as well. To upload my banner image, let's go to the add images button here. I can then find and open up the image I want to use for my banner. Once it finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected. Then go down to the done button at the bottom right. And your new banner image should then be added to your theme. For my images, I prefer to use action shots with people either using or wearing my products. I could go with the single image here, but for my store, 
I'm gonna add a second image as well. So let's go to the second image section here on the left and click the select image button. I can then go through the same process to upload my second image. There we go. As you can see, my banner now has two images that are displayed side by side. I think that looks pretty good. If we go back to the menu on the left here and look underneath our images, we'll also see a slider bar where we can adjust our image overlay. This is sort of a shadow displayed over your image to help people be able to read your text. For my image overlay, I think I'll set it around 40%. Next, you also have a drop down menu where you can adjust your banner height. You have four options here, which is to adapt to the first image, make the banner small, medium, or large. For my banner, let's have it adapt to the first image. Underneath this, you can also adjust your content position. Your content will include your text and your button. You have tons of options of where you can place your content, but for my banner, I'm going to place my content in the middle center. There we go. I think that looks much better. You can also adjust other settings like your desktop content alignment, your color scheme, and if you scroll down a little more, you can also add an animation to your banner. If you click the image behavior drop down menu, you'll see several options here that you can use to animate your banner. This includes zoom in on scroll, fixed background position, and ambient movement. For my store, I think I'm gonna go with the ambient movement option, which will show my banner images slowly moving around. If you like, you can also adjust your mobile layout, but once you're finished, let's go back up to the back button and go back to the theme editor main menu. So now that I've added my images, let's go back to the image banner dropdown menu and go to the first tab here, which is your text tab. If you click this, it'll take you to a menu where you can edit the text for your banner header. To change your text, simply go to the heading text field on the left here and type in whatever you want it to say. When you type in your text, you should notice it update on the preview on the right as well. Underneath your heading text box, you can also select your heading size. You can select a small, medium, or large heading, so select the one that you think looks best. Now that we've updated our heading, let's go back to the main menu. So we've updated our banner images and our heading text. Now let's go back to the image banner drop down menu and go to the buttons tab. Here's where you can view various options for your banner button. To edit my button text, let's go up to the first button label text field here. You can type in whatever you want, but try to keep it relevant to wherever you're gonna send the customer to. In the next field here, I can select my button link. If you click the drop down menu here, it'll display all the different places in your store that you can send the customer to. For my online store, I'm just gonna send them to a page to view all my products. And using the checkbox here, you can select to have your button outlined or filled in. Also, you have the option to add a second button here if you like, but for my online store, I'm just gonna go with one. So now that I've finished updating my banner button, let's go back to the main menu. If you go back to the image banner dropdown menu and go down to the last option, you'll notice a tab that says add block. If we click this, it'll open up a window where we can select to add another text field to our image banner. If we click the new text tab here, it'll open up a menu where we can edit the description. As you can see, this will be displayed as a subheading, so try to make your description somewhat related to your heading. Underneath your description, you can also select your text style. You have three styles to choose from, including body, subtitle, and uppercase. Feel free to select your favorite, and once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button. So now we've fully customized my banner images, my header, my button, and even added a subtitle. Before we continue, let's go up to the top right here and click the save button. And all of my changes have been saved. So now let's use the icons up top here and see how my image banner looks on various devices. And here's what it should look like on desktop. I'm not sure why my images look grayed out earlier, but hopefully now you get a better picture. Go ahead and check out how your banner looks on mobile and in full screen as well to make sure everything looks perfect. I have my two side-by-side -side images here with ambient movement, my heading, my button that sends customers to all my products, and my subheading. I think that looks pretty good. So let's go back to our theme editor here and check out what we want to customize next. So next, we're going to go over how to add collections and featured collections to your Shopify theme. First, we'll go over how to add a featured collection, which is a section that will display all of the products in a selected collection. We will also go over how to add a collection list where you can display up to 16 different collections. So from your theme editor, if you look at the template menu on the left, 
you should see a tab at the bottom that says add section. Let's click that now. This will open up a window where you can view all the different sections that are available for your theme. Since I want to add a featured collection, let's find and select featured collection from the list here. And the featured collection tab should be added to the menu on the left and you should be able to see a preview of the featured collection on the right. This is simply a default preview since we haven't updated the content yet. So let's go over how to select the featured collection for my store. From the menu on the left, let's go ahead and click the featured collections tab. This will open up a menu where I can add all of the details for my featured collection and select the collection that I want to display. In the top text box here, you can add your heading. For my featured collection, I'm going to add my hats and beanies collection. So let's add that to my heading. Underneath your heading field, you can also select your heading size. You have the option to select from a small, medium, or large heading, so select the one that best fits your store. Next, you also have a field here where you can add a description of your featured collection. Feel free to describe your collection and try to use copywriting that will make customers actually want to click. As you add your text, you'll notice it also appear on the preview on the right. Also, if you need help writing your description or anything else on Shopify, they now have an AI writing assistant that you can access by clicking the icon here. Simply describe what you want to write and the AI will instantly do it for you. Once you add your description, you can then go down and select your description style. You can select from body, subtitle, or uppercase, so select the one that best matches your store. And finally, in the next section here, we can select the collection that we want to use. So let's click the select collection button here. This will open up a menu where you can view all of the collections that you've created on Shopify and where you can create a new collection if you like as well. But for this example, I'm going to select my hats, beanies, and visors collection. When you select the collection, you'll notice it appear in the preview on the right. So now that I've added my hats, beanies, and visors collection as my featured collection, let's go down to the bottom here and click the select button. If we take a look at the next setting here, you can select the maximum number of products to show in your collection. The default setting is 4, but feel free to use the slider bar here to change the number of products that are shown. For my featured collection, I think I'll stick with 4 products. Underneath this, there's also a slider bar where you can select the number of columns to display. If I select 2 columns for example, only 2 products will be shown in each row. But for my store, I want all 4 products to be shown on the same row. So that means I need four columns. If you have more products in your featured collection that isn't shown on your homepage, you can also click the checkbox here to enable the view all button. You can also select your button style, including an outline button, a solid button, or simply the link. I think I'm gonna go with the solid button. You can also enable a carousel on desktop, select a different color scheme, and if you keep scrolling down, you'll see other options here such as to show the product rating, and to show a second image when hovering. This is a cool effect if you have multiple images uploaded for your products. Also, from the image style drop down menu, you have several styles here that you can select to use for your product images. So take your time and check out all the options and feel free to edit your featured collection as much as you like. Once you're finished, let's click the back button up top and go back to the theme editor main menu. And my featured collection has been customized and added to my theme. But before we continue, I also want to add a collection list underneath my featured collection so customers can see all of the collections that I have. To add a collection list, let's go down to the template menu and click the add section tab. From the window here, let's check out the various sections and select collection list. I should now see the collection list tab in the menu on the left and a default collection list section in my preview on the right. If I click the collection list main tab here, It'll open up a menu where we can personalize our collection list. In the top box here, go ahead and add a heading for your collection list. Next, you can select your heading size. You can also select your number of columns, your color scheme, and other options here. But for my collection list, I'm just going to roll with this. So let's click the back button up top here and go back to the theme editor main menu. Now that I've customized my collection list, let's add my collections. From the collection list drop down menu on the left, you'll notice several collection tabs here. To add my first collection, let's click the top collection tab. From here, simply click the select collection button and you'll be taken to a menu where you can view your collections or create a new collection if you like. When you select the collection that you want to add, you'll see it appear on your preview on the right. So once you've added your collection, 
go ahead and click the select button at the bottom. I can then click the back button up top and go back to the theme editor. You can now go through the same process for the other collection tabs here. I'm going to add my clothing and apparel collection, my hats, beanies, and visors collection, and my home and living collection. There we go. And all three of my collections have been added to my collection list. If you had another collection you wanted to display, you can add it by clicking the add collection tab here. But for my store, I currently only have three collections, so I'm just going to roll with this. So we've just finished adding a featured collection and a collection list to our Shopify homepage. Using the icons up top here, we can check the various devices and make sure our collection list and our featured collection looks good on both mobile and on desktop. Not bad. I think that'll work. So if everything looks good and you're finished customizing your sections, make sure you go up to the top right and click the save button. And the changes to my Shopify theme have been saved. So the next section I want to add to my Shopify theme is a featured product. Adding a featured product is a great way to show off a specific item that you want to display on your homepage. For your featured product, you'll be able to select from any product that you've already uploaded to your Shopify store. So let's head back over to the Shopify theme editor and go over how to add a featured product to my theme. On the left, let's take a look at the template menu and go down to the add section tab. This will open up a menu where you can view all the sections available for your theme. From here, let's find and select the Featured Product tab. This should add the Featured Product section to the menu on the left, and also add it to your home page in the preview on the right. So to add a product and customize our Featured Product section, let's look at the menu on the left and click the main Featured Product tab. This will take you to a menu where you can select your product and add other customization options as well. So to add my Featured Product, Let's go up to the product section up top here and click the select product button. This will take you to a menu where you can view all of the products that you've added to your Shopify store and where you can create a new product if you like as well. Go ahead and browse through your products and find the one that you want to use for your featured product. For my featured product, I think I'm just going to go with my infused water recipe ebook. Once you select your product, you'll notice it appear in the featured product section in the preview on the right. Now that I've added my featured product, Let's go down to the bottom here and click the select button. This will take us back to the featured product main menu. Feel free to change your color scheme. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll see the media section where you can adjust your media width. And go ahead and select the one that looks best on desktop. Your mobile image will automatically be adjusted. So once you're finished adjusting your settings, let's click the back button and go back to the theme editor main menu. From the featured product drop down menu, You'll see several tabs where you can edit the various elements of your featured product. For instance, if I wanted to edit my product title here, I can go over to the featured product drop down menu and click the title tab. Using the heading size options here, I can adjust the size of my title. In my opinion, I think it would look better if it was a bit smaller. There we go. I think that gives my featured product section a much cleaner look. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button. Feel free to check out the other featured product tabs here and see what other changes you can make. For most tabs, you'll only have one or two options, and for some, you might not have any options at all. But take your time and explore the various options that are available. Once you're finished customizing your featured product section, check out the icons at the top of the page here and see how your featured product section looks on various devices. So here's how my featured product looks on a mobile device. I have my product image, my product information, and a button where the customers can make a purchase. I think that'll work just fine. So if everything looks good, let's go up to the top right of the page and click the save button. And all the changes to my theme have been saved. Now when customers visit my online store homepage, they'll see my featured product and be able to make a purchase. So now let's move on to the next section that I want to add to my theme here, which is rich text. Rich text is basically a text field that you can add to your homepage and includes a heading, a caption, text, and a button that can link customers to a new page. And this is a great way to share a message or information with your customers and send them to a specific page that you want them to view. So let's head back over to the Shopify theme editor and go over how to add rich text to my homepage. So from the theme editor, let's look at the template menu on the left hand side and go down to the bottom and click the add section tab. This will open up a window where you can view all the sections that you can add to your Shopify theme. From the list here, go ahead and find and select the Rich Text tab. 
The rich text section should then be added to your menu on the left, and also a preview should now be available on the right. So now that I've added a rich text section, let's check out the various customization options. First, let's go to the menu on the left and check out the rich text main tab. This will open up a menu with several customization options for your rich text section. At the top here, you can select the position of your content. You can position your content to the right of the page, the left, or the center. But keep in mind, the position you select will be viewable on desktop, but on mobile, it will be automatically optimized. In the next section here, you can select your content alignment. If I select left for example, my heading, text, and button will all be aligned to the left of the page. But for my store, I'm going to leave it in the center. You also have other options here to adjust your color scheme, your padding, and other settings, but I think I'm going to leave mine as is. So let's go up to the top left and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I've customized my rich text layout. Now let's go over how to personalize the content. If you look at the rich text drop down menu on the left, you should see several tabs available. Here's where you can edit your headline, your text, and your button. So first, let's edit my headline by clicking the top tab here. This will open up a menu where you can edit your heading. In the top text field, go ahead and type in whatever you want your heading to be. As you type, you'll notice your heading update on your preview on the right as well. Once you add your heading, you can then go down to the second section here and select your heading size. Go ahead and try out the various sizes and select the one that looks best for your store. Once you're finished customizing your heading, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So the next tab we have here under the rich text drop down menu is the tab to edit our content. If we click this, it'll take us to a menu where we can type in the text to add to our description. Let's go ahead and get rid of the default text. So in the text field, feel free to type in whatever description that you want to use for your store. If you're having a hard time coming up with your description, Shopify now offers an AI tool that can actually write it for you. If you look at the top toolbar here and click the generative text icon, it'll open up a menu where you can use AI to generate your description. In the top field, you can describe the type of text that you want to generate, and underneath, you can use the drop down menu to select the tone of your text. The tone of your text should be determined by whatever you're writing, and they have tons of tones to choose from. So in the field here, let's describe the text that I want the AI to generate. I'm going to have it generate a welcome message for shoppers that visit my online store. For this example, let's keep things lighthearted and select a playful tone. Once you describe the text that you want to create and select your tone, go ahead and go to the bottom here and click the generate button. Your text will then be analyzed and three separate suggestions will then be generated by the AI. You can then read over your AI suggestions and select the one that you like best. And the AI text will then be added to your description. So let's read my text here and see what the AI came up with. It says, Quantum Designs is your destination for apparel that combines fashion and entrepreneurship. Find your unique style today. Not bad. I think that'll work perfectly for my description. Keep in mind, you can still edit the text any way you like in the text field here. But once you're finished, Let's click the back button and go back to the theme editor main menu. So we've updated our heading and our description. Now let's go over how to update our button. From the rich text drop down menu on the left, go ahead and click the buttons tab. And of course, this will open up the menu where we can edit our button. In the first field up top here, I can edit my button label. The label you create for your button should be determined by where you plan to send your shoppers. I'm just going to have my button send customers to view my products, so let's label my button view all products. In the next section here, I can select my button link. In the text field, you can either paste the link or click the field to open up a menu where you can search through all of the pages in your online store. Since I want shoppers to view all of my products, let's click the products tab. From here, I can select an individual product to send customers to or select all products up top. There we go. Now, whenever a customer clicks my button, they'll be taken to a page where they can view all of my products. If you wanted to change your button style from a solid color to an outline, you could use the checkbox here. And down at the bottom here, you also have the option to add a second button to your rich text field if you like. But for my store, I'm just going to roll with one button. So let's go back up top and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So now my rich text field has been fully customized with my heading, description, and my button. 
If you needed to rearrange the rich text section or any other section on your homepage, simply go over to the tab here and click and drag the icon on the far right. This allows you to easily rearrange the sections on your theme homepage. For my store, let's move my rich text underneath my image banner. That'll work. Before continuing, go ahead and go up to the icons up top here and make sure your rich text looks good on all devices. You want to make sure it's formatted correctly for mobile and for desktop. If everything looks good, go ahead and go up to the top right of the page and click the save button. And a rich text section has been added to my Shopify theme. Now that we've gone over how to add rich text, let's add the next section to my Shopify theme, which is an image with text. On your Shopify theme, you can add a section that contains an image and a text block with an optional button that can send customers to a new page. You can use this section to focus on a specific product, collection, blog post, or anything else you wish. So let's head back over to the Shopify theme editor and go over how to add an image with text. From the template menu on the left, let's scroll down to the bottom and click the add section tab. This will open up a menu where you can view all the different sections that you can add to your theme. From the list here, go ahead and find and select the image with text tab. And the image with text section should be added to the menu on the left. And you should also see a preview on the right. So now that I've added an image with text section, let's go over how to add my image. To add my image and adjust other customization options, let's click the image with text main tab here. This will open up a menu where I can select an image to use, adjust my content settings, and select other customization options. So let's start by adding my image. To add an image, let's go up to the top box here and click the Select Image button. This will open up a menu where you can view all the images that you've already uploaded to Shopify and where you can upload new images as well. To upload my image, let's go up to the top box here and click the Add Images button. I can then find and open up the image I want to use for my image with text section. Once you upload your image, make sure you have it selected, then click the done button at the bottom right. And my image has been added to my image with text section. For my online store, I'm going to highlight my soy wax quantum designs candle. In the next section here, you can select your image height. You want to select a height that looks best with your store, the image you're using, and the text that you plan to add. For my store, I'm just going to go with the small image. Next, you can adjust your image width. Keep the same principles in mind and select the one that looks best with your store. I think I'll stick with medium. You can also adjust your image placement, whether you want it to appear first or second, your content position, your content alignment, your color scheme, and if you keep scrolling down, you can even add an animation to your image. We have two image behavior options here, which is ambient movement and zoom in on scroll. For my store, I think I'm going to add some ambient movement. We should now notice my image calmly moving around. Feel free to adjust your mobile layout, your padding, and other settings. And once you're finished, go ahead and go back up top and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I've added my image and customized my layout. Now let's edit my heading. To edit my heading, let's go to the image with text drop down menu and go to the first tab, which is the heading tab here. This will take you to a menu where you can edit your heading. In the text field up top, go ahead and enter the heading that you want to use for your image with text section. For my heading, I'm going to simply type in soy wax candle. Underneath this, there's also a section where you can select your heading size. I think I'm just going to stick with medium. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. Next, let's edit what the description says underneath my heading. To do this, let's go to the image with text drop down menu and click the second tab, which is the content tab. From here, you can use the field up top to edit your content description. Feel free to write your description yourself, but if you're having trouble coming up with the description, you can now let the Shopify AI tool write it for you. To access the Shopify AI tool, go to the toolbar up top and click the generative text icon on the left here. This will open up a box where you can describe the type of text that you want the AI to generate. For my text, let's see if it can generate a good description for my soy wax candle. Once you describe what you want, you can then use the drop down menu at the bottom here to select the tone of your text. For my tone, I think I'll go with persuasive. Now that I've described my text and selected a tone, let's click the generate button and see what the AI comes up with. And like magic, the AI will provide you with three description suggestions that you can select from. 
Go ahead and read through the various suggestions and select the one that you like best. And your new description will be added to your image with text section. So let's see what the AI came up with for my soy wax candle description. It says, create a cozy and inviting atmosphere in your home with our irresistible soy wax candle. Not bad, definitely better than I could come up with. And keep in mind, if you wanted to update your AI description, you can edit it any way you like using the text field on the left here. And underneath, you can also select your text style. You have the option to select from subtitle text or body text. I'm just gonna go with body text. Once you're finished editing your content, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I've updated my heading and my content. Now let's go over how to customize my button. From the image with text drop down menu, let's go down and click the button tab. This will take us to a menu where we can edit our button label and the link where we send the customers to. In the top field, go ahead and type in whatever you want your button label to be. For my button, I'm just gonna say shop now. And from the button link field underneath, you can either paste in a link or click the field to open up a menu to select the page you wanna send the customer to. Since I'm sending customers to one of my products, let's click the products tab. From here, I can select a page where customers can view all my products or select a specific product page. So let's find my soy wax candle and select it. Now when a shopper clicks my button, they'll be taken directly to my soy wax candle product page. And if you wanted to change the style of your button to an outline, you could do that by clicking the checkbox here. But I'm gonna leave my button as a solid color. So let's go up top and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I'll finish customizing all the different elements for my image with text section. But since it's the last section that I added, it's located all the way down at the bottom of my theme. So let's move it up my homepage a bit by going to the image with text main heading and dragging the three dots icon on the right here to move the section up my theme. This makes it super easy to rearrange your homepage however you like. So before we continue, let's use the icons up top here to make sure the section looks good on all devices. You want to make sure everything looks perfect on both mobile and on desktop. And if everything looks good, go ahead and go up to the top right and click the save button. And all of the changes that I've made have been saved. So now, let's go over the next section that I want to add to my theme, which is a slideshow. On Shopify, you can add a slideshow section to your theme to display a carousel of up to five images on your page. This is a great way to grab customers' attention and show off various sections of your store. So let's head back over to the Shopify theme editor and go over how to add and customize a slideshow. From the menu on the left, go to the template section and scroll all the way down till you get to the add section tab. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can view all the sections that you can add to your theme. Go ahead and browse through the list and find and select the slideshow tab. The slideshow section should now be added to your menu on the left and you should see a preview of the slideshow on the right. So first, let's start by customizing my slideshow layout. To do this, let's go to the menu on the left and click the slideshow main tab. Here's where you can customize the style of your slideshow. At the top here, you can select the layout of your slideshow. You can select between full width and grid. And for my slideshow, I think I'll go with grid. In the next section, you can use the drop down menu here to select your slide height. You can select either small, medium, large, or simply have it adjust to the first image. You can also select to show dots, a counter, or numbers for the slides in your slideshow. And if you want your slides to auto rotate, you can select the checkbox here. You can then use the slider bar here to select how many seconds you want each slide to be displayed. I want my slides to move fast, so let's move it down to three seconds. Next, you also have the option to add an animation to your slides. From the image behavior section, you can select the option here to add ambient movement to each slot. This is a cool effect that can really be attention grabbing. If you like, feel free to check out the other options here, but once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button and let's head back to the theme editor main menu. So we've gone over how to customize the slideshow section. Now let's go over how to add our images. From the slideshow dropdown menu, you'll see several tabs here that's labeled image slot. Each tab will represent a different image in your slot and if you wanted to add more images, you can click the Add Slot tab at the bottom here. For your slot show, you can have up to five images. So let's click the first image slot tab here and add my first image. For my slot show images, 
I'm going to be uploading images with the dimensions of 1600 by 1050 pixels. So to add my first image, let's go up to the image section up top here and click the select image button in the center. This will open up a menu where you can view all the images that you've uploaded to Shopify and where you can upload new images as well. To upload my image, let's click the add images button in the center here. You can then find and open up the image that you want to use for your slide. If you like, feel free to go ahead and upload the other slides you'll be using as well. Once everything finishes uploading, make sure you select the image that you want to use for your first slide, then click the done button at the bottom right. And your first image should now be added to your slideshow. Once you add your image, you can then move down and add a heading for your slide. For my slideshow, I'm going to have each slide send the customers to a different collection. So for my first heading, let's type in home and living. You can also adjust your heading size if you like. And underneath this, you can add a subheading. For your subheading, feel free to type in whatever you want. But if you're having trouble coming up with something, you can also use the Shopify AI tool to help you generate your text. From the toolbar at the top, if you click the generative text icon on the far left, it'll open up a menu where you can use the AI tool to help you write your subheading. In the text field up top here, simply describe whatever you want the AI to write for you. And using the drop down menu at the bottom, you can select the tone of your text. For this example, I think I'll select daring. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the generate button at the bottom. And a few seconds later, the AI will provide you with several suggestions that you can select from. Go ahead and read over the various subheadings and select the one that you like best. Once you make a selection, it'll be added to your slideshow. So let's see what the AI came up with. It says transform your home into a sanctuary of style and comfort. I think that'll work great for my home and living collection. Keep in mind, you can still edit the subheading any way you wish from the text field on the left here. Now that I've added my subheading, Let's move to the next section here and add my button label. For my button, I'm going to keep things simple and just type in view more. Once you add your button label, you can then move down and add your button link. In the field here, you can either paste in a link or click the field to open up a menu where you can view all the different pages of your store. Since I want each slide to represent a different collection, let's click the collections tab. From here, I can select a link to all of my collections or select an individual collection. For this slot, let's select my home and living collection. There we go. Now whenever a customer clicks my button, they'll be taken directly to my home and living collection. If you like, you can also edit your content position, your color scheme, your overlay, or any of the other settings here. But once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button up top and head back to the theme editor main menu. Now that you've customized your first slot, Let's go back to the slideshow drop down menu and click the second tab to add your second slot. Go ahead and go through the same process to add your image, your heading, your subheading, your button label, and your button link. And once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button. So my slideshow now has two slots, but honestly, I'm not really filling these images. So to change your image, go back to the slot that you want to change and click the change drop down menu in the image section. From here, Let's click the select from library option, then find and open up the new image that I want to use. Once you add your image, go ahead and select it, then click the done button at the bottom right. I think that image looks much better. So let's go back to the theme editor main menu. So my slideshow currently has two slots, but you can actually have up to five slides in your slideshow. If you want to add a new slot, simply go to the add slot tab from the slideshow drop down menu here. When you click this, you'll notice a new image slot tab added to the drop down menu. To customize your additional slots, simply go through the same process that we did before. And for my store, my slot show now has three different slots, each one sending a customer to a different collection. If you wanted to rearrange your slot show on your homepage, simply go to the slot show tab and use the icon on the far right here to drag it to wherever you want. I think I'll move my slot show towards the top of my homepage. There we go. I think that's a much better position. So once you've finished customizing your slideshow, make sure you go up to the icons up top here to see how it looks on each device. You may notice things look a bit different on mobile, so go ahead and check everything out and make sure you don't need any changes. But if everything looks good, go ahead and go up to the top right and click the save button. And my new slideshow has been saved. Now when shoppers visit my online store, they can use my slot show to easily view and go to my collections.
Now that I've added a slideshow, let's move on to the next section that I want to add to my theme, which is a collage. A collage is a section that contains three blocks where you can add images, products, collections, and even videos. This is a great way to show and link to several pages in your online store all from one section. By default, the section will contain an image, product, and a collection block, but you could also remove a block and add a video if you like as well. So let's head over to the Shopify theme editor and go over how to add a collage to my homepage. To add a collage, let's look at the template menu on the left and go down to the bottom and click the add section tab. From here, you can view all of the different sections that are available to add to your Shopify theme. Go ahead and browse through the list and find and select the collage tab. The collage section should then be added to your menu on the left and you should see a preview of it on the right. So let's get started by customizing my collage style and layout. To do this, let's go to the menu on the left and click the collage main tab. This will open up a menu where I can edit my collage heading, style, and the layout. From the first section here, you can use the text box to update your heading. When coming up with a heading for your collage, make sure it's relevant for whatever you're displaying. I'm going to focus on home and living items, so I think I'll make my heading elevate your home. In the next section here, you can select your heading size. You can select a small, medium, or large heading, so go ahead and select the one you feel works best with your store. Next, you can select your desktop layout. This basically determines whether the large block in your collage is on the left or on the right. Underneath this, you can adjust your mobile layout. To see how it looks, let's use the icons up top to go to the mobile view. So for your mobile layout, if you select column, each of your blocks will be displayed in a column as seen here. But if you select collage, they'll be displayed in a collage layout similar to the desktop. For my mobile layout, I'm going to go with the collage. If you like, you can also adjust your card style, your color scheme, and other settings. But for my collage, I'm just going to go with this. So let's click the back button at the top left and go back to the theme editor main menu. So now let's edit each of the different blocks that make up my collage. From the collage drop down menu, you should have three blocks already enabled by default. This should be the image block, a product block, and a collection block. So let's click the first tab here and edit my image block. This will open up a menu where you can simply select an image to use for one of the blocks in your collage. To add an image, let's click the select image button in the center here. This will take you to a menu where you can view the images that you've previously uploaded to Shopify and where you can add new images as well. To upload an image, let's go up to the top here and click the add images button. You can then find and open up the image that you want to use for your collage. Once it finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected, then go down to the bottom right and click the done button. And your image should now be added to your collage. Now that I've added my image, let's click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So the next tab that we have under the collage drop down menu is the product tab. If we click this, it'll take us to a menu where we can select the product that we want to add to our collage. To add my product, let's go up to the product section up top here and click the select product button. This will open up a menu where you can view all of the products that you've previously added to Shopify and where you can create a new product if you wish as well. For the product in my collage, I want to add my wine tumbler. If you have a ton of products listed in your store, instead of trying to browse through the whole list, you can simply use the search bar up top here. When you find your product, go ahead and select it. And my classy wine tumbler has been added to my collage. If you look underneath the image here, you can also see the name of the product and the price. So once you've selected your product, go down to the bottom here and click the select button. If your product page contains more than one image of your product, you can select the checkbox here to display the second image whenever a customer hovers over the product in your collage. But I think I've only uploaded one image of my wine tumblers, so that's the only one that will be displayed. So once you're done adding your product to your collage, go ahead and click the back button and head back to the theme editor main menu. So I've added my image and my product. Now let's add the third block to my collage, which is a collection. From the collage dropdown menu, Let's click the collection tab. This will open up a menu where you can select the collection that you want to add to your collage. To add a collection, let's go up to the top here and click the select collection button. This will open up a menu where you can view all of the collections that you've created for your Shopify store and where you can create a new collection if you like as well. Since my collage is highlighting my home and living items, let's select my home and living collection. 
Once you select your collection, go ahead and click the select button at the bottom. And my home and living collection has been added to my collage. So let's click the back button and head back over to the theme editor main menu. So my Elevate Your Home collage now contains an image, a product, and a collection. But before we continue, let's use the icons up top here to make sure it looks good on all devices. When editing my mobile layout, I selected to have a collage displayed instead of a column, so my collage should be displayed on both mobile and on desktop. Also, since we just added the collage, it'll be displayed at the bottom of my homepage. But we can easily rearrange this and other sections of our theme by clicking and dragging the icon on the far right of the tab here. There we go. I think my collage works much better towards the middle of my homepage underneath my slideshow. So once you've created your collage and moved it to the perfect location on your homepage, go ahead and go up to the top right of the page here and click the save button. And my new collage and all of the changes that I made have been saved. Shoppers will now be able to view my collage and click to go directly to my product or my collection. So now that I've added a collage to my homepage, let's go over how to add the next section, which is a video. Adding a video to your homepage is a great way to grab customers' attention and show off your products. To add a video to your homepage, you can either copy a link from YouTube or simply upload it directly to Shopify. So let's head over to the Shopify theme editor and go over how to add a video to my homepage. From the template menu on the left, let's go all the way down to the bottom and click the Add Section tab. This will open up a menu where you can view all the different sections that you can add to your theme. From the list here, go ahead and browse through the different sections and find and select the Video tab. This should add the Video tab to the menu on the left and add the Video section to your theme preview on the right. Now that I've added a video section to my theme, let's add my video. From the menu on the left, go ahead and click the Video tab. This will open up a menu where you can customize your video section and add your video. First, let's go up top here and use the text field to add a video heading. You can type in whatever you like, but make sure it's relevant to whatever video you'll be adding. In the next section here, you can select your heading size. You can select a small, medium, or large heading, so feel free to select the one that looks best with your store. And underneath this, you can use the checkbox here to have your video play on a loop. This means your video will continuously play until the viewer pauses it or leaves the page. But you may want to be careful with videos that has music or sound because it could get annoying. So finally, let's go over how to add our video. On Shopify, there are actually two different ways you can add your video, so let's take a look at them both. One way to add a video to your homepage is to simply paste in a YouTube URL here. To use a YouTube URL, start by uploading your video to YouTube. You can upload it as public, or if you don't want it to show up on your channel, simply upload it as unlisted. Once you've uploaded your video to your YouTube channel, go ahead and copy your video URL. We can then go back to the Shopify video menu and paste in the URL in the field here. Once you add the link to your video, you'll see a preview appear at the bottom here. That's one way to add a video to your homepage, but if you like, instead of using YouTube, you can simply upload the video directly to Shopify. So let's delete the URL here and go over the second way to add a video to your homepage. If you look at the menu on the left here, you should see a section that says Shopify hosted video. To upload my video directly to Shopify, let's click the select video button here. This will open up a menu where you can view previous videos that you've uploaded to Shopify and where you can upload new videos as well. To upload my video, let's click the add videos button here. I can then find and open up the video that I want to use for my homepage. When adding your video directly to Shopify, keep in mind that it may take a few minutes to upload. But once it's finished, make sure you have your video selected, then click the done button at the bottom right. And my new video has been uploaded and added to my theme. Now when customers visit my store, they'll be able to see an eye-catching video that can grab their attention. So now that I've added my video, let's go back to the menu on the left and see what else we can do. Underneath the URL link field, you should see a section where you can add a cover image for your video. To add a cover image, simply click the Select Image button here. And from the menu, click the Add Images button and find and open up the image you want to use for your cover. When it finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected, then click the Done button at the bottom right. And a preview of my cover image should now be available in the section here on the left. Next, 
There's also a section here where you can add video alt text. This is where you describe your video for customers using screen readers. When adding your alt text, try to use good keywords as well because it can also help with SEO. And underneath your alt text, you also have the style section. If you select the checkbox here, you can make your video full width on your theme. You also have the options here to adjust your color scheme, your padding, and other settings. But once you're finished, go ahead and go back up to the top here and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. And my Shopify store now has an eye-catching video that customers can view. Before continuing, let's use the icons up top here to make sure our video looks good on all devices. So I have my video header here and my video that customers can click to play. I think this looks pretty good. But since the video is the last section that I added, it's gonna be added to the bottom of my homepage. But for my store, I wanna move my video up underneath my slideshow. So to move your video or any other section in your theme, simply go to the section and click and drag the icon on the far right. This allows you to rearrange your homepage any way that you like. There we go. So now when customers visit my store, they'll see my video located right underneath my slideshow. So if you're happy with your video and arranged your theme, go ahead and look up at the top right here and click the save button. And my video and all of my changes have been saved. So I think I'm done customizing the template section of my homepage. So now let's go over how to edit your footer. Your footer is an extremely helpful section that contains tons of details and information about your store. It can contain several sections, including the navigation menu, payment options, links to your social media brand pages, and even a newsletter sign up. Your footer will be displayed on all pages of your online store, so make sure you keep this in mind when customizing. So let's head back over to the Shopify theme editor and go over how to edit my footer. To view the footer section, let's go to the menu on the left and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here's where you'll find the section where you can customize your footer, and from your theme preview on the right, you'll see a preview of your footer at the bottom as well. If you take a look at the footer section on the left, you'll notice that there are several customization options. You have the ability to add new sections or personalize your footer by adding blocks. So let's start by clicking the Add Section tab here and see what different sections we can add to our footer. As you can see, there are two different sections available for your footer, which includes a custom liquid section and an email signup. With the custom liquid section, you can add your own liquid code to create advanced customizations. I don't think I need that for my store, but I will select the second tab here to add an email signup. When you select the email signup tab, you'll notice the email signup menu appear on the left and a preview of the section appear on the right. To edit the email signup layout and settings, simply click the email signup main tab. This will open up a menu where you can select the color scheme for your email signup, adjust the padding, and select other settings. Feel free to adjust whatever you like, and once you're finished, go back up to the top here and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. Under the email signup dropdown menu, I can click the first tab here to edit my email signup heading. From here, you can change your heading to whatever you like and also adjust your heading size. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button. From the next tab here underneath email signup, I can edit my subheading. In the text field up top here, you can add a description for your email signup. Feel free to write whatever you like, but if you're having trouble coming up with something, you can use the Shopify AI tool to help write the description for you. To write your description with AI, let's look at the toolbar up top and click the generative text icon on the far left. In the text field here, simply describe whatever it is you want the AI to write for you. And from the drop down menu at the bottom here, you can select the tone of your description. For the tone of my newsletter signup, I think I'll select persuasive. So once you describe what you want and add your tone, go ahead and click the generate button at the bottom. And the AI will instantly provide me with three suggestions that I can use for my description. Feel free to read over the suggestions and select the one that you like best. Once you make a selection, it'll be added to your email signup subheading. Keep in mind, you can edit your AI generated text any way that you like using the text field on the left here. But once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button to head back to the theme editor main menu. And my email sign up has been customized. When visitors subscribe, they'll automatically be added to your accepted marketing customer list. So now, let's collapse the email sign up tab and focus on the main footer section. First, let's go all the way down to the bottom of the menu on the left 
and click the footer main tab to check out our footer customization options. At the top here, you can adjust your footer color scheme if you wish. When selecting your color scheme, make sure it complements the rest of your store. And keep in mind, you can customize any of the color schemes even further by clicking the edit tab here. In the next section, you have the option to add an email signup to the footer itself. If you want to show your email signup, make sure you have the checkbox selected and you can use the text field here to edit your heading. But since I've already added an email signup section, I'm going to click the checkbox to remove the email signup from my footer. Underneath your heading text field, you'll see a section where you can add the follow on shop button to your footer. This will allow customers to follow your store on the shop app directly from your storefront. But keep in mind, you must have shop pay enabled. Next, you'll see a section where you can add your social media icons to your footer. If you select the checkbox here, you'll see icons for all your social media brand pages that you've added appear on the right hand side of your footer. If you still need to add your brand pages to Shopify, you can easily do this by clicking the theme settings tab here. This will open up the theme settings menu. From here, go ahead and scroll down to the social media drop down menu and you'll see several fields where you can add your social accounts. You can add your brand page from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, and tons more. To add a social account, simply go to the field that you wish to add and paste in the URL link to your brand page. Once you add a new social media link, you should see the icon appear in your footer. And when customers go to your footer and click one of your icons, they'll be taken directly to your brand page. Once you finish adding all of your social accounts, make sure you go up to the top right here and click the save button. And all of my changes have been saved. So now that I've added my brand pages, let's go to the icons here on the left and click the top icon to go back to the theme editor main menu. Let's scroll all the way back down to our footer and click the footer main tab to continue editing. So we've personalized our color scheme, added the follow on shop button and links to our social media brand pages. If you like, you can also enable your country or region selector, your language selector, and in the next section here, you can show the different payment methods that customers can use to check out from your store. If you select the checkbox here, your footer will display all the different payment icons that customers can use. If you like, you can also select to show your policy links, which will display links to your store's policies in the bottom of your footer. So once you're finished selecting all your different customization options, go ahead and go up to the top here and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. If we go back to the footer drop down menu at the bottom, we'll notice a tab here that says add block. If we click this, we can view various blocks that we can add to our footer. Blocks are basically different footer sections that can be added and arranged however you like. So let's click the top tab here and go over how to add a menu block to my footer. When I add a menu block, you'll notice the menu tab appear in the footer drop down menu and a preview of the menu block appear on the right. To customize our menu block, let's click the menu tab in the footer drop down menu. From here, you can update your menu heading and select the menu that you want to use. To change your heading, simply go to the text field up top here and type in whatever you want. And underneath your heading text field, you can select your menu. A default menu may already be selected, but to select a different menu, simply click the change button in the center here. And from the drop down menu, Go ahead and click the change menu tab. From here, you can view all of the menus that you've created on Shopify and create a new menu if you like as well. When you select a new menu, you'll also notice your menu update on the preview on the right. So once you choose your menu, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click the select button. And my footer menu has been updated. So let's go up to the top here and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So my footer now has a menu to help customers navigate my store. So let's go back down to the footer drop down menu and see what else we can add. If I click the add block tab, we can see that the next block we can add to our footer is brand information. When I select this, the brand information tab will be added to the menu on the left and a new section or block will be added to your preview on the right. If we select the brand information tab, it'll take us to a menu where we can add our brand details and select to show our social media icons. To add our brand details, Let's click the edit brand information link here. This will take you over to your theme settings. If you scroll down, you should see the brand information drop down menu. From here, go ahead and come up with a headline and a description for your brand. If you need help coming up with a description, keep in mind that you can use the Shopify generative text AI tool. 
Simply describe what you want the AI to write and you'll be provided with several suggestions that you can use. As you add your brand information, you'll notice it update in your footer on the right as well. In your brand information section, you also have the option to add an image. If you click the select image tab here, it'll open up a menu where you can view all the images that you've uploaded to Shopify and where you can add new images as well. For my image, I'm simply gonna upload my brand logo. So let's go to the add images button here and find and open up my image. Once it finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected, then click the done button at the bottom right. And my image has now been added to the brand information block in my footer. If you need to adjust the size of your image, you can use the image width slider bar here. Using the slider bar, you can select the exact pixel size you want for your image. So once you've added your heading, your brand description, and your image, go ahead and go up to the top right here and click the save button. And all of my changes and updates have been saved. So let's click the icon at the top left here and go back to the theme editor main menu. We can then scroll all the way back down to the footer section. So I've added a menu and a brand information block to my footer. So let's go back to the add block tab here and see what else we can do. The next block I can add to my footer here is a text block. When I select this, the text tab will be added to my footer drop down menu and the text block will be added to my preview on the right. If you click the text tab from the footer drop down menu, it'll open up a menu where you can add a heading and a subheading. You can use your text block to write anything that you wish. For example, it can be used to highlight important information such as store details, promotions, or your contact information. Once you finish adding your heading and your subtext, go ahead and click the back button. So let's go back down to our footer, click the add block tab, and add the last block that we can add to our footer, which is an image. When you select to add an image block, you'll see the image tab appear in the footer drop down menu, and also the image block will appear in your footer on the right. To add an image, let's go to the image tab in the footer drop down menu. At the top here, go ahead and click select image. From the menu here, you can use the add images button to add a new image, or search through the images that you've already uploaded to Shopify. Once you select your image, go ahead and click the done button at the bottom right. And my image has been added to my image block. To adjust the size of your image, you can use the image width slider bar here. Also, if you like, you can adjust your image alignment for large screens. So once you're finished adjusting your image, go ahead and click the back button. And all four available blocks have now been added to my footer. If you wanted to rearrange or edit any of your blocks, simply select it and use the icons at the bottom here. From here, you have the options to rearrange, duplicate, hide, or delete your blocks. Feel free to rearrange your blocks and customize your footer however you like. For my footer, I think I'm gonna hide my image and delete my text. And I think I'll move my menu to the left side of my footer. There we go. Take your time and get your footer exactly the way you want it. So for my footer, I have my email sign up section, my menu block, my brand details block, my social media icons, my follow on shop button, my payment methods, and my policy links. Before continuing, go ahead and use the icons up top here to make sure your footer looks good on all devices. Your mobile layout will be a bit different, so you wanna check it out just in case you need to make any changes. But if everything looks good, go ahead and go up to the top right here and click the save button. And my new footer has now been saved. So for my Shopify theme, I've customized my homepage and my footer. So now let's go over how to publish my store. Once our new theme is published, it'll be available for shoppers to view. If you were using another theme for your Shopify store, we'll be replacing it with the one we just customized. So let's head over to the Shopify theme editor and go over how to publish our new theme. So hopefully you've already added and customized all the sections you want for your Shopify theme. Go ahead and review every section on each device and make sure everything looks perfect. If you're happy with your Shopify store and ready to take it live, go ahead and look at the top right here and click the publish button. You'll then see a confirmation window letting you know that customers will see your theme when they visit your online store. Go ahead and look at the bottom right and click the publish button. And your new theme has been published and will be used for your online store. From the theme's main menu, you should now see your new theme appear at the top here. So now that I've published my new theme, let's click the view your store tab up top here to check it out. 
And here's my new fully customized Dawn theme for my Shopify store. I have my announcement bar, my sticky header, my image banner, my rich text, featured collection, my slideshow, my video, and all the other sections that we added to our theme. You should now have an eye-catching storefront that customers can navigate and shop for your products. So that's an overview of how to customize the Dawn theme on Shopify. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.